Morning, Daisy. You, uh, you doing okay? After last night? Yeah, sorry for springing the whole I'm part werewolf thing on you. To be fair, though, you were the one in my lap chanting sex over and over again, you little gremlin. Aw, come on, baby. Don't give me that dazed smile. My ego won't be able to handle it. Come on. I'll make you some breakfast. Or we could order in. I know a Lamia that runs his kebab stand. Best damn stall in the city. Hmm? Waffles? Yeah, that sounds doable. Uh, let me go get that ordered. Hmm? <laughs> oh, no, Daisy. I can't cook to save my life. Yeah, yeah, I'm a stereotype. I know. I'll be right back. Hey Dan, it's me. You officially open yet? Or am I gonna have to pay the Enzo is annoying me for waffles tax? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You check with your cooks. I'll call back in a bit to place an order. Cause I know you're gonna let me. Right Dan? <laughs> Talk to you in a bit. So, uh, elephant in the room. How you feeling about all this mafia stuff now? Look, making love like that is fantastic. But it's not really an answer, you know? I, uh, I just want to make sure we're on the same page here. Yeah, yeah, of course, that's fair. Not knowing enough about the situation is, uh, is fair. Feel free to ask anything I'm, I'm willing to explain. <sighs> Why the two families thing? Well, Breaker's mom was a siren, like I said. Said mother was captured and enslaved to Antonio's father, Alfonso Silvestri. The sick bastard always insisted he loved that siren, but you don't chain up people you love. I mean, uh, unless they're into it, I guess. Right, uh, sorry. Point is, Alfonso doing that started a whole fucking war between humans and non-humans. It was largely a cold war, so, thank God, there wasn't a lot of casualties. My family, the Agastes, agreed to mediate in supernatural matters and crimes. Antonio does the same, but... He's a little more busy defrauding businesses and starting shit. Fucking moron. Well, truth be told, we were doing it even before the siren incident. All the way back to the Dark Ages, in fact. The Agastes in force. The Silvestris spy and use diplomacy. The Quandry studies uh, some weird shit. And Prince's group. Make sure no cults get out of hand and summon something unkillable. How could you help? Uh, Daisy? Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. This work can get crazy dangerous. Okay, okay. We can talk about it after breakfast. I still think you're a little gremlin. You know that? <laughs> Alright, I'm handling it. I'll give Dan a call back. Reception is a bit better in the kitchen, so pardon my rudeness, my dear. I'll be right back. Two very dangerous entities in the city. This is a cold seven. I repeat, code 7. Alright, food should be here in about half an hour. Daisy, you okay? What? Code, code 7. You heard the radio say, code 
Fuck. Antonio, you dumb bastard. Recall Breaker. Now. Why are you even sending her out in berserk mode? What? A protected executive's been abducted by a... You're joking. Please tell me you're joking. No, I, I mean it. Because I do not want to hear that a fucking god killer is loose in Moonvale. Antonio, do not start arguing with me. You're sending in two class sevens against each other. Yes, Heartbreaker is a class seven. You lying little. You want the government to waltz in here and start another fucking crusade against non-humans? Do you? Damn it. Daisy, head into that room over there. Yeah, right there. That is a safe house. It should be able to withstand a battle between two class sevens. No, baby, I, I can't join you. I gotta deal with this. Baby... Please. People are gonna die if I don't get down there. I love you. I love you so much. But I... I have to do this. I'm... I'm sorry, Daisy. But you'll be safe here. All right, Antonio. Where is the god killer heading now? Down towards me. Are you fucking... All right, fine, whatever. My boys and I will be in a position to intercept. Evacuate all civilians immediately. We don't know god killer's disposition. Do not take any chances. You know, you can make this whole thing a lot easier by recalling Breaker. Antonio. God damn it. Do you have any idea what's going to happen? You want a juiced up berserker going against some lady that's trained her whole life to kill gods? I've got an innocent civilian I've had to put in my goddamn safe room. Top fucking security, Antonio. And you want to pull this? Come on, Breaker. Don't lose control. Come on. Of course they would both crash into my apartment building. God damn it. Daisy, I know you can hear the radio from the safe room. Shout to tell me you're okay. Oh, God. How are you so loud? I should barely be able to hear you. What do you mean my safe room sucks? Did you get out? No, no. Daisy, you need to go back in there. Now. Do not argue with me on this. Breaker is fine. She can handle herself. And we have backup inbound. So stay where you are. Baby, please. There is nothing you can do. Daisy, stop running towards the danger. Daisy, get out of there. Run. Move out from between them and get to safety. Please. Don't hold up your arm to stop me. You're the one who needs to stop. Are you insane? Oh... Fuck. God killer's looking right at you. She... She bowed to you. And left? Daisy, are you... Daisy? Oh, fuck. Fuck. I need a medic. Now. We've got 200 people here. Oh, no, 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 no. Daisy... Daisy, keep your eyes open. Come on. Look at me. Look at me. Don't leave me, baby. Please. I... I need you.